Hello class, I'm going to provide you a video here for how to complete assignment 1-2. So in the first assignment, right, is a discussion where you introduce yourself and you speak a bit about your experience with 3D modeling. If you don't have any experience with 3D modeling, this class is designed um, in such a way that that's okay, right? Like we're going to take you from a beginning level all the way up to where we should be at the end of the course. And if you do have some experience, uh, I would recommend still going through all the material because it's likely that there are gaps in your knowledge, right? And you'll learn new information um, as you as I cover this material. So any tutorials that I create, I mentioned this earlier in an announcement, will be inside of Maya. That's what I use. So if you want to follow along with the video tutorials that I make, please go ahead and install Maya if you have not done so already. So inside of the first module, here is assignment 1-2, practice navigation and basic object creation. Prior to doing this, I recommend you watch the first eight videos on the playlist that I shared inside of this announcement. Um, all right, so if I click on this requirements and rubric, it will bring me here. Essentially, this assignment is asking you to complete a set of tasks and record your screen while you complete those tasks. So what you're going to submit is that recording. Okay, so it can be an AVI uh, .mov or an MPEG-4 video. Here, um, here's some software that you can use, that you can choose from. There's OBS Studio. I know a lot of students use that. So feel free to, to choose one of these. Um, and just make sure you understand how to record your screen uh, prior to diving into this, right? So once you've downloaded OBS Studio or you have another solution to capture your screen, then feel free to continue on with the video from here. All right, if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see Module 1 Practice for 3ds Max users. You'll want to click on that if you're going to um, use 3ds Max and then module one practice for my users. If I click on that, it will bring me to here. We'll bring uh, you here. So I'm going to put this on my other screen and kind of go through this, okay? Here is a uh, Maya 2023 scene, right? It's a fresh scene. And <clears throat> on I'm in the general workspace, right? And I have the outliner open here. If you don't have the outliner, like let's say this looks something like this, you can go to Windows, Outliner, uh, and then I can drag it over and dock it here if it's not docked. We're going to use this uh, today. All right, so the recording is to do the following, right? And the, the instructions are to do this in order. So if you follow along with me, I recommend kind of doing this on your own just so you understand how to do it and then maybe recording it um, after the fact okay all right so the first thing it's asking for is to set the number of undos in your software preferences to 100 so i can do that by going windows settings preferences preferences here we are if i click on undo i can set this to finite and 100 or finite 100 and then hit save all right um, and then it says navigate between the four panel view panel view and individual view panel views in the following order. So a specific order. Um, the four panel view, we can get there quickly by hitting spacebar. Um, we could also get there by clicking on this little icon right here, right? But spacebar is the quicker way to do it. Um, if you're hovering over any one of these, uh, these are all different ca cameras, right? Like orthographic cameras. If you're hovering over one, you can hit spacebar and it will full screen it. And then I can hit spacebar again to get out of it, right? And you can see here's perspective, top, um, front, and side. So what the recording, what the assignment is asking you to do is to start here, then hit spacebar and go into perspective. Hit spacebar, go back to the four view. Hit spacebar and go to the front go back to the four view, then side, then back to the four view, then top, then back to the four view. I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go to perspective for this next part. And it says, we're going to create a bunch of polygon primitives 
and name them and move them. The first one is a cube. I can create a cube by coming up here, make sure I'm in this poly modeling tab and click on the cube right here. It says we should name it practice cube and I can name it several ways, but I'm gonna use the outliner. If I click on its name, I double click on it, then I can name it practice cube like this. And it says use grid snap to move it to the following XYZ location. Now my grid settings are not default and I just barely changed them. And I'm gonna show you what I did. And we're gonna mess with the grid a bunch, but if you go to display and you click on this little white box next to grid here, we can pull up the grid settings. Here, if you wanna get your grid to look like mine, let's set this to 12 and then one and one. And you can see my axis, you can change the color here. I have my axis set to this uh, red color. My grid lines and numbers, this light gray, and then subdivision lines to the dark gray. And then I'll hit apply. All right, so let's go back here. I'm going to, I'm going to click on the yellow arrow, right? Which will make it so I can only translate in the X. And then while holding X, which turns grid snapping on, hold X and move it all the way to the edge, right? And now you can see translate X is negative 12. It says it wants Y to be 12. So I'm gonna hold X and drag this up until Y says 12. And then it says it wants Z to be zero. So Z is already zero. All right, uh, so that's done. Next one is a sphere. Let's create a sphere by clicking up here. And this will name practice sphere, right? And then it wants us to scale it in the following XYZ dimensions in the world axis orientation, 2.5 and 0.25. So those numbers are in XYZ. And instead of using the scale tool, which is R, which is handy, we'll just type that in. So scale X, they said they want that to be um, two. Scale Y is 0.5 and scale Z is 0.25. All right, so that's what that looks like. Next is create a cylinder, and this we will name pra oops, practice cylinder. And they want us to rotate it in the XYZ degrees. And it's that we can use the rotation tool and I explain how to do this in those videos that I referenced on my YouTube channel. I recommend you watch those, but they want specific values here, which is going to be far easier to actually type these in. So make sure that the sphere or the cylinder is selected, go to rotate X and they want that to be 90. Um, rotate Y is 60 and then rotate Z is 15 like so. Okay. I can click off and then a torus. This is a torus right here, and let's name it practice torus. Whoops, no space in there. And it says use grid snap to set the pivot to the bottom of the torus. All right. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to hit spacebar to go to my four up view, hit spacebar again, and the grid is not set up for grid snap, but we do want the pivot on the bottom. So now that I'm in the side view, what I can do, I can hit Q so that that is just the basic selection tool. It's the same as coming over here, right? Q. I'm gonna hit, with this selected, I'm gonna hit Control-1, which is a shortcut for isolation. That's the same as clicking on this up here. So I can isolate this. And then we wanna move the pivot the pivot is what controls rotation and um, selection and how the uh, pivot like moves through the bottom. And this assignment is saying they want that pivot on the bottom of this. So to unlock the pivot, right now if I try and move this, it's going to move the torus, which I don't want. So I'm gonna hit Z to undo that. I'm going to unlock the pivot by hitting D as in delta. And now if I zoom in by scroll wheeling, um, now you can see that this looks different. I'm actually gonna hold V for vertex snapping V as in Victor, and with V held, I'll drag this down and see how it will snap to the bottom like that. And then I'll hit D as in Delta again to lock the pivot in place. And now this pivot is on the very bottom. 
All right, so we're done with that part. Now it says, execute the following navigational tasks with the mouse and keyboard in the prescribed order. So go to perspective view. So perspective view, uh, frame the practice cube. So I'm going to click on the cube and hit F as in Frank, that F for frame, right? Uh, tumble the perspective camera around the practice cube clockwise and then counterclockwise. So I'll hold Alt and click and drag. And while holding Alt, I'll click and drag this way again. Uh, now it says frame the practice sphere. I can select in here, like if I zoom out, I can also come over here to practice sphere, select it here and then hit F, right? Now I've framed the sphere. Um, then it says, let's see, frame the practice sphere, zoom the perspective camera towards and away from the sphere. So we can either use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out like this, or you can hold alt and right click and drag left and right. Uh, all right, go into the front view. So that's space bar, space bar again on front view, frame the practice cylinder. I'm gonna select practice cylinder and then hit F. <clears throat> Um, pan the front camera to the left and then to the right and then pan the front camera up and down. So I'm going to hold alt while holding alt middle mouse click and drag to the left and then middle mouse click and drag to the right and then middle mouse click and drag. Let's see. Um, let's go move it up and then we'll move it down. Right. Um, yeah. And then that's it. So at this point, you can stop the recording, save it. Remember, save it as a, an AVI, MOV, or M, uh, MP4. And that's what you'll upload to this assignment. So pretty simple. Again, please go through the uh, videos that I shared um, with my, on my YouTube playlist um, for Maya. And that will help you a lot. All right. Thanks. Bye.